हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर रूपाली शेड़के वर्किंग एज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंजीनियरिंग एट वॉल्चन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद द एम्पियर सर्क्यूटल लॉ लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू स्टेट एंड डिराइव एम्पियर सर्क्यूटल लॉ or which is also known as a ampere's works law these are the contents which are going to be covered in this video that are the first we'll state the ampere's law and then we we'll derive the equation for that and we will see some problems related to the ampere circuital law and the re last references the ampere circuital law it is stated that a line integral of magnetic field intensity around the closed loop path is equal to the current enclosed by that path mathematically when we write the this statement it is a line integral which is nothing but a closed integral of h bar what is h bar h bar is the magnetic field intensity magnetic field intensity and dl is a loop covering or a entire loop therefore closed integral of h dl is h bar dl is given as a equal to i i is nothing but a current enclosed by that path now let us uh, derive this statement or this mathematical equation for that we will consider a infinite current carrying filament and place which is placed along the z axis in this figure it is shown that it is seen that a infinite line, line filament which is current 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 is i flowing through this it is a infinite current filament and it is placed along the z axis then the magnetic field is created in a form of circular loop and let us consider that as a radius r it is covering now to verify this we will state the magnetic field intensity the magnetic field intensity or magnetic field due to it it is given by h bar is equal to i upon 2 pi r a phi bar where i is the current flowing through the filament r is the path or a circular path radius of the circular path and if i is a direction as we are seeing in a circular path the direction will be a if i this derivation we are already discussed in a previous slides na previous videos um, which is a called as a field magnetic field intensity due to the infinite filament now let us consider a path surrounding as it is a circular path for this the dl the magnetic field uh, this uh, magnetic uh, dl is given as a dl bar is equal to dr ar bar plus D, dr r d phi a phi bar plus dz az bar as it is we are consider it is a circular path therefore we will see the differential component of the length Uh, in a cylindrical coordinates this is a dr in a cylindrical coordinates then if r is the radius of the path and it is placed in a horizontal plane if it is in a horizontal plane then dr and dz because we are only considering in a circular path that's why the dr and dz will be equal to 0 so when we substitute in the above in a dl equation the dl equation will be reduced to r d phi a phi bar only we are considering for the a phi direction while for r direction and z direction it will be 0 change in the length therefore we are considering only r d phi a phi now when we substitute this h dl will take h bar dl the ih is given as a i upon 2 pi r a phi and 
dl is r dr a phi d phi a phi as a by the properties of dot matrix the self self dot product of the unit vector is always equal to 1 in our case it is a a phi dot a phi therefore both are the similar therefore the dot product of this is equal to 1 so the r r get cancel out over here and only the equation will remain with the i upon 2 pi r d phi now we will substitute in the mathematical equations of the ampere circuital law which is a closed integral of hdl is equal to i we will consider the lhs side lhs is equal to closed integral of hdl here it is a closed integral of hdl is equal to integral we will substitute now i d l from here that is i upon 2 pi a phi i upon 2 pi a phi as the phi a range of the phi is varying from 0 to 2 phi that is a total 360 degree so we will integrate it over the length uh, over the limits 0 to 2 pi as i and 2 pi is constant it will be outside the integral sign and only the uh, we will integrate the t phi integration of d phi is phi so uh, after substituting the limits it will be 2 pi by the when we cancel out this 2 pi 2 pi and only it remains with the i where i is nothing but the current so we can state say that lhs is equal to the rhs by derivation also the rhs value we are, uh, the final value is the i therefore the lhs is equal to the rhs this is what the ampere's law states now what could be the conditions or what is a equation whether this equation satisfied for the different path now in this figure we are seeing that uh, there are the three different path a path is a circular path as you see b path is a square path and this is a uneven path so when the current carrying when it is a this uh, loops are formed across the current carrying conductor i the consider a conductor shown in the figure which is carrying the current i then the line integral h bar across the closed loop path will we as we have marked this path as a a b and c for the path a and b it will be a equal to the what the current flowing through it according to the ampere circuital law it satisfies the equation because it is a closed integral but for the line integral across the path C is less than I since, since the entire current is not enclosed by that path. This is the reason why see here if the, it is a entire current is not enclosed by this path. So, it is a less than the current I. Okay, in a figure C we are showing the uh, the line integral at a different uh, condition or different cases. In the first case, if you see that h bar across the closed loop path to the current carrying conductor enclosed by path 1 and path 2. For the wire 1 and path 2, it will be the same. It will be equal to I. Because if you see that this is a current carrying conductor across this, it is covering. That's for close integral of hdl will be equal to i according to the law and this see only the position is being changed but it is covering the circular path for this conductor that's for the close integral of hdl ideal is equal to i for this condition also but in the third case in the third figure if you observe that the conductor is over here and the magnetic field is shown across to the side side then it is a there is no current there will be no magnetic field no magnetic field due to this current carrying conductor that's for the close in close current flowing through this will be equal to enclosed by this will be equal to zero the current enclosed by this path will be equal to zero therefore according to the equation as i is equal to zero that's for close integral of hdl will be equal to zero and 
the last one that is the fourth one in this figure if you see that the closed path is not completely completed it is not a closed path but it is breaking over here even if the current carrying conductor is there this path is not entirely covered as a closed path so in this case also the closed integral of hdl is equal to 0 so thus only what can we can say that when it is a closed path then only the equation is been satisfied so let us see a problems on this now for that we will consider a find i for a square whose sides are 2 meter with the edges coinciding with the plus x and plus y axis and one corner is at the origin now what according to the statement we will draw the diagram we will only consider two axes x axis and y axis as the edges are coinciding so uh, to the sides that's why the sides of the squares were lying along the axis and i is the current flowing through it one edge is at the origin so according to the law i is equal to close they ask you to find out the i current so what will the i equation close integral of h dl when you expand this h is given to you h is given to you that is a 2y square ax now as it is in a cartesian coordinate the dl will be dx ax bar plus dy ay bar because only two directions we are consider so I got, now we will take a dot product ax into ax it is equal to 1 but ax into ay is equal to 0 when you multiply with this bracket then the equation will reduce to 2y square dx so after integrating this the value of y is equal to 2 which is a constant and the integration of the dx is x substituting the limits it is a i will be equal to minus 16 ampere so similarly we can take this for the h bar is equal to 2 x square y a z bar h in this case our h is same equation 3 x square y a z bar when you multiply this dot product see here there is a no z products in this equation this is a dz into ax will be equal to 0 dz into dy will also be equal to 0 because they are not a self dot product in this case the current is going to be a 0 these are the references thank you